A national speaking tour to discuss action on climate change kicked off in Dunedin last night. Organisers Generation Zero say the meeting packed a lecture theatre at the University of Otago before travelling north today. Lindsay Horn is here to tell us all about it. Good evening. Good evening. Now do remind us, where does Generation Zero come from? Cool. So Generation Zero is a nationwide youth movement. Uh, we're looking to reduce New Zealand's carbon emissions. We're nationwide. We have uh, big centres up in uh, Auckland, Wellington, and uh, also in Nelson and Hamilton, and Dunedin's one is especially large. Mm. Now what happened last night? So last night was the kick-starting event of our nationwide speaking tour. We're going all across the country and we're trying to connect climate solutions with people to get that conversation happening. Mm. And uh, why, why was what, What's the Hold Up held? So What's the Hold Up um, was the, speaking, the name of the speaking tour event and we see all sorts of climate solutions happening across the country and uh, mainly overseas though that's where it's happening. So in Denmark they have plans to become carbon neutral by 2050. We hear things in, across Europe about their smart transport solutions. We hear things happening from the states and from a New Zealander's point of view we look at those things and um, we're wondering why they aren't really happening here. So what's the hold up is happening to make those conversations happening and see if we can get those things happening here in New Zealand. Hmm. Now I understand that you're also uh, trying to get young people to vote. What's behind that? Yes, um, getting young people to vote is really important for Generation Zero. Young people are the people that are going to be living into the future where we can see some of the effects of climate change starting to happen. And uh, we're living through these decisions that are happening now. So for us it's only fair that young people have a, have a big say in the upcoming decisions because we're the ones that will be living through them. Mm. And the group has some concerns with government policy on climate change. What are those concerns? Yeah, so for us we just see that the government isn't really seeing climate change as a priority and for us it definitely is. It's going to have massive effects into our lifetime and it's really important for us that it is a priority, that things are happening for it. What plans does the group have to perhaps lobby government to get perhaps a little more action going? Well, local body elections are coming up and they're an awesome place for us to have some impact. Um, the Dunedin Council is particularly awesome, like they have been doing some amazing work with the energy plan and what we would like to see is that across the board, um, we'd love to see all councillors having strong climate policies and that's something we'll be looking forward to. Um, seeing like, what they say about that and getting that out to the youth to vote on those issues. And the group has a candidate to put forward for a local body? Yeah, we do. One of, um, one of the candidates, Letitia Nicholas, is, is going for council um, here in Dunedin. Now you're about to attend a follow-up meeting. What's that all about? Yeah, so like you said, that uh, last night it was uh, completely packed out, so we have lots of, lots of young people um, really amping to get things moving. So after this, I'm going to go to a follow-up event, and we're going to train them on local body elections and how to get students to vote. Mm. And what's next for Generation Zero? Uh, like I said, local body elections, and that's happening all across the country, so getting councillors to have strong climate policies and then also gearing up for the 2014 election. Generation Zero organiser, Lindsay Horn, thanks very much for your time. Cheers.